So, oh, this is bad. This, I can't even, dude, I'm like washed out. I think this is better. I don't know. I think we're getting there. Yeah. So, this is not a standard location and it's on purpose because today we're gonna feature an amazing virtual tour panoramic photographer who's been around for like 20 years and this cat's amazing. His name is Jeff Hanley and we're gonna go to his urban resort today. I don't know if he knows it, but we're gonna kinda surprise him and talk about his workflow and how he puts together a 360 degree virtual tour. Let's do it. Resort. Let's see if Jeff is home. Let's do it. Hey, what's up? Dude, that was like crazy fast. Were you standing by the front door? Uh, I was actually outside. My, my ring doorbell thing went off and I knew that someone was out front. I thought you might have been the mailman. Dude, he's like the Flash. He, he's literally like the Flash. He's really prompt. Dude, let's go inside the Urban Resort and hang out with Jeff yeah, Hanley for a little in. bit. So the honest truth is, I haven't been shooting panoramas as long as Jeff has. That dude, apparently, I was wrong. 20 years? No, 21. That's a long time shooting panoramic images. That's a long time shooting 360 degree virtual tours. He bought the Urban Resort because of 360 degree virtual tour panoramic photography. The very thing that you could basically start your own future with, he's been doing for 20 some years. That doesn't mean he's shot everything. That doesn't mean there's no more photographs to be taken or new businesses to be done. That tells you that he's been able to do this for 20 plus years and you can too, even if you're just starting. You see, the cool thing about virtual tour panoramic photography is that there's a story, there's a lineage, and that's what we're gonna do today. I wanna feature Jeff. So let's just chat with him. Let's see what he has to say about virtual tours and where he started, his process, and what it is he does. Jeff has been around for like 20 plus years. He is a professional at virtual tour, 360 degree photography, but look, I can tell you all about it, but what about your history? Tell us, walk us through your history as a virtual tour photographer and how you've amassed what you've amassed successfully, as well as, dude, the urban resort, the killer crib that you have. <laughs> so it's, it's really interesting, in 1995, I used to own a home brewing supply store called Homebrewers Outpost in Flagstaff, Arizona. And I had customers that were coming up. They lived at the bottom of the Grand Canyon at a place called Phantom Ranch. And they would literally come up and they would come to Flagstaff and they were buying home brewing supplies to brew beer at down the Grand Canyon. I thought, so wait, are you telling me you started with home brewing beer and you went from beer to photos? I know, it's crazy, yeah. Okay, I just I want to yeah. make sure this is clear for everyone yeah, yeah, else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a professional photographer, at least when I started. You know, I dabbled like everyone else did. And these guys would come in and they'd buy homebrew supplies from us. 
and I became friends with them, and they invited me to come down to the Grand Canyon, to Phantom Ranch. And so anyways, um, I went down there, I hiked down, it was awesome, I got to meet everyone, I thought this is cool. After you know that visit, I said to the, uh, the camp director at the time, I said, Warren, dude, we should do a website for phantomranch.com. No problem, got on the computer, registered it, bought it for $35 from internet. And then I was like, I'm gonna shoot some pictures. I'm gonna come down on another visit and I'm gonna shoot some pictures. And at that time, digital cameras had just come out. In fact, I went to the, the bookstore in Flagstaff and I bought this first ever digital photography Whoa. magazine. What? Volume one, number one. What? And look at, look at the title here. Whoa. Take photos without film. Can I see this for real? So, it, anyway. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. This is literally like the Bible of digital photography. Volume one, number one. Are you I, seeing this I, right I, now? I look, look at the date. Summer 1998, you know. Wow, summer 98. Oh, hold on, okay, so pause. Look at, I know, we hustle you for comments, but what were you doing in summer of 98? Dude, I straight graduated high school in 97. 98, I was working my first J-O-B. That's what I was doing. <laughs> wow. So this is, this is cool stuff. So inside this magazine, I'm, I'm perusing all the pages, and I come across this one article here called Immersive Photos. Wow. Dude, your handwritten notes are in here. <laughs> yeah. Wow. The funny thing about this was literally a week before this happened, wow. in, the, in the mail I received a credit card application um, for a credit card for 2000 bucks. And as it turns out, this camera was 1999. So I applied for the credit card, got the credit card, and, and who do I call? I call iFix, I order the first camera and actually this is it right here dang and as you can see this is dust from 1998 all right you know. so hold on before we go any further we have to break into proper b-roll footage of jeff's classic 1998 enviropix camera ready boom We got iPix, we got the hemispheres. Let's fast forward all the way into Note All Ninja, the products that you're using today, kind of how you shoot your workflow, and what introduced you into the world of Note All Ninja and the products that we have. Cool. In 2010, I had discovered Note All Ninja and uh, Bill Bailey. I, I told my workflow, I said, I'd like something new, you know, and, and I want to shoot with the DSL, DSLR, have a little bit more, you know, opportunities. Met with Bill, he hooked me up with the R1, and uh, my life changed, and the rest is history. Mind blown. Mind, Mind blown. Mind blown. And that four shots around, that's a real typical workflow of a lot of virtual tour photographers now. It's just like, and, and you're kind of done. And the R1 introduction really sort of changed your workflow really... It, completely. So Forever? I, for, oh. Forever. Okay. Why don't you take us through kind of how you shoot images today? Because you're very successful. You you consistently shoot. Literally, Jeff has traveled around the world, right? Shooting panoramic 360 degree virtual tours from Iceland to the Bahamas, the Caribbean, Mexico, the United States. Macau. I mean, Macau. Like, I mean, he's been all over. Why don't you... I mean, would you be willing to share with us a little yeah. bit of your workflow? Let me just show you how I do it. All right, let's do it. Let's, All right, let's do let's it. Let's go make it happen. Let's do it. Let's get out of here.
Okay guys, so I just finished shooting four 90 degree hemispheres using the R-Series head from Nova Ninja. And what that was is I shot bracketed. So I shot a baseline photo, two steps up, two steps down. So that makes 12 images. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these right here. We're gonna just slide that into PT GUI. And PT GUI stands for Panoramic Tools Graphical User Interface. I know it's kind of crazy, but if you ever wondered, I always wondered. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and hit Align Images. So this process here, it's going to throw it all together for me. And then at this point, I have a little bit of creativity. I'm going to go ahead and line it up with Jason who's shooting here. And we're just going to level this out. And we're just going to let this thing go about it. So what it's doing here, it's going to create the panorama. So it's like all the images I shot, Great. It's going to blend them, the highs, the lows, it's going to be... So basically what I always tell clients is like, what I do is I make it so you see exactly what you see, you know. So as humans, you know, we look out through the window, it's perfect, we can see outside, we can see inside. The camera is a little different, so we have to kind of create that, you know. We have to, we have to make it, you know, look like you can see inside, 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 outside, etc. And that's how we do it. So this is kind of going through that process, it's like layering. It's actually pretty cool, and and when you see it, the the image, the output, it's gonna be awesome. And then at that point, when it's done, we're gonna throw it into an editing process, and then we'll build it out, and it'll be awesome. So that's it, 360 degree, 360niche.com. That's how you find Jeff Hanley. 21 years of experience. This guy's done it. Jeff, what do you say as a goodbye? I'm just saying, it's like, this is easy, folks. You can do this. you got the best equipment. No is just going to rock your world. Follow their advice. The world is your oyster. Go for it. Well, I'm glad to be back in the office. It sure was fun hanging out with Jeff Hanley today and going to the urban resort, kind of seeing how he puts together a panoramic image. It was a lot of fun hanging out with him. Hey, maybe you've never thought about it like this before. What if you're a wedding photographer or a landscape photographer and you thought, man, 360 degrees is not really my deal or panoramic images aren't my deal. You should give some consideration to shooting maybe larger panoramic images. If you're a wedding photographer, have you ever thought about shooting a panoramic image of the entire family set was there, when they're all there? I mean, imagine how incredible that could be added to your portfolio or you're a fine art photographer and you simply broaden what it is that you do through some of the equipment that we have. We're not talking about big bulky stuff. Some of those items are only as small as what can fit in my hand. And you throw that in your gear bag and you've now expanded your own portfolio to increase your bottom line. We here at Nodal Ninja are photographers. We think like photographers and that's why we build products based off of how we can make your life and your job easier and more lucrative. So we wanna give a big shout out and thank you to Jeff for allowing us to come into his urban resort and enjoying an afternoon with him. And hey, we wanna collaborate with other photographers. If you're out there and you're saying, man, I've got something I would love to share with a broader community, throw that in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you and see if a collaboration will work out for both of us. Hit that subscribe button and make sure to ring that bell so that you know what's going on when we're uploading videos or things are happening here on our page. Thank you so much for spending your time with us and we will see you in the next episode. Peace.